everyone, welcome to our ZDZ studio. Today I have a really hot topic and I want to share it with you. So the topic is what are full range speakers? I'm sure you are also wondering that. So stick around and I will break it all down for you. In this video, we gonna take a closer look at full range speakers, compare them with the middle range speakers, and I will give you some handy tips on picking the right ones for your audio system. So let's start with the basics. So what are full range speakers? There are several types of speakers up here. You can see this, 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 and this one, like subwoofer, woofers and middle range and also tweeters so today let's we focus on the full range speakers and the middle range speakers obviously full range speakers designed to handle a wider range of sounds before like high and low that means they can give a richer more realistic music experience simply put they can give you a more balanced listening experience, covering the frequency from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. On the other hand, like this middle range speakers, they have a narrower range. So their frequency is from 300 Hz to 2000 Hz. And this is the sweet spot for vocals and music instruments so that's why they often compared with woofers and tweeters to have a well-rounded music or audio output so what exactly are full range speakers they are designed to cover a wide range of frequency they can play by bass mid-range and the treble all at once by using A single speaker unit. The aim of the full range speakers is aimed to reproduce the audio frequency as closely to the original sound as possible, minimizing the distortion and make everything crystal clear. And here is an interesting point that is, full range speakers don't have a crossover. That means they don't have phase distortion that can come from splitting frequency among different drivers. However, sometimes the bass and the treble may not feel so deep or dynamic as what you can find in professional speakers, making the sound a little flat. Now, let's we move to the differences the, between the full range speakers and the middle range speakers. So the first part may be the frequency range. Just like what I mentioned before, the full range speakers is typically covers from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz. And the middle range speakers are narrower than the full range speakers. They covers from 300 Hz to 2,000 Hz. And the second, let's we move to the design and construction. Just like what I mentioned before, the full range speakers don't have a crossover, but the mid range speaker, they have a crossover. So that means they can produce an accurate sound, but maybe cause a little or a slight phase shift. And lastly, think about your usage scenario. Full range speakers are very versatile. They work great in personal setups, home theater, concerts, and commercial events. On the flip side, the middle range speakers shine in professional setups and concert venues, where the reproduction of precise vocals and strumming is the key. Now, here are some handy tips for you to pick in the right ones for your audio system. So the first thing is Consider your listening environment. Think about the size of your room and its acoustics. Full range speakers 
works well in smaller spaces, where middle-range speakers shining in larger places, especially when prepared with other speakers. And secondly, determine your audio system, determine your audio preference. If you love music, smooth, uninterrupted, and very crystal clear, four-range speakers will be the way to go. But if you care more about the clear vocals and strumming, the middle-range speakers could be the best choice for you. And then, make sure the speak you choose will, will connect with your amplifier and your other components. Last, test before you buy. Whenever you can, try to listen to different speakers' model to see which one resonates with your own taste. Different brands and models have different quality. So anyway, any speakers has its own pros and cons. If you want to use the four-range speakers, it's okay. And if you want to use the middle-range speakers and compare them with other speakers, it's also okay. And if you don't know the characters or the very standout features about these two speakers, I can tell you. Mostly, if you see a speaker, they are foreign speakers, you can see there is a horn. And normally, middle-range don't have this. And also, the four-range speakers have a hi-fi driver. You can see here, right here. So, it's obviously to analyze which one is the four-range speakers and which one is middle-range speakers. In this video, we say lots about the four-range speakers and the middle-range speakers. Both of them have their own pros and cons. Just like, think about the way you want to use it like frequency range and the place you want to use and the design just think about the three factors and you can choose the best or the best suitable for you join the rich immersive sounds that quality speakers can bring to your life thanks for tuning in and see you next time bye